One vitamin, two forms. One harms, the other heals. And most people have no idea which one they're taking. Vitamin B6 is either the hero your nerves have been begging for or the hidden villain quietly making things worse. You've probably seen the warnings. Vitamin B6 causes neuropathy. Stay far away, it builds up and fries your nerves. But here's the thing no one's saying clearly enough. There are two completely different forms of vitamin B6. One does build up and trigger nerve damage, but the other, it could be the missing link to your nerve healing journey. So why is the internet acting like they're the same thing? And why are people terrified of the nutrient their nervous system desperately needs to recover? Today, we're exposing the real B6 myth, one that's led to misdiagnosis, unnecessary fear, and untreated neuropathy. And if you've been told you're B6 toxic, or you're afraid to even take a drop of it, this is where the fog clears and the truth begins. Let's dive in. The fear around vitamin B6 toxicity didn't come out of thin air. It came from people we were supposed to trust, doctors, neuroscientists, and wellness influencers who meant well, but left out the most important detail of all. They said vitamin B6 is dangerous. It builds up in your system and causes nerve damage. It's toxic to the nervous system. And the punchline, they forgot to mention, they were talking about paradoxine hydrochloride. The synthetic form, inactive form of B6. The version that needs liver conversion to work. The version that many people can't convert at all. The version that actually causes the toxicity they're warning you about. But B6 doesn't only exist as paradoxy. There's another form, a safe form that's paradoxal 5-phosphate or P5P. It's already active. It's ready to be used by your nerves, your brain, and your liver. No conversion needed. It doesn't build up, and it's been shown to support nerve healing, not sabotage it. This is the part almost no one explains. Leaving this out is like telling people water is dangerous, but forgetting to mention that the water is mixed with bleach. So what happens next? People panic. They ditch all B6, even the form their nervous system is starving for. And symptoms that could have improved, they get worse. Let me say this clearly as I can. B6 toxicity is real, but it's not about the nutrient, it's about the form. Now, you might have heard people say, it doesn't matter which form I take because they all get converted to P5P anyway. Well, not quite. That's a big piece of the B6 toxicity myth, and it's one of the most dangerous half-truths in the nutritional science. Sure, in a perfect world with flawless textbook biology, your body is designed to convert paradoxine into P5P. But let's be real, most people today aren't living in that perfect world and their bodies are far from operating optimally. If your liver's sluggish, and by the way, more than 40% of the US population has a sluggish liver. If you've got inflammation, stress, poor gut health, or genetic polymorphism like MTHFR, that conversion simply crashes. Instead of turning into the active healing form of B6, paradoxine builds up, and worse, it competes with P5P at the receptor sites. It acts as a roadblock instead of a bridge. So while the bio biochemistry textbook says, don't worry, paradoxine becomes P5P, Real life clinical practice says not always, and definitely not efficiently. And that's why understanding the form you're taking isn't just important, it could be the turning point into your healing journey. And here's what most people don't know. Whether you realize it or not, you're taking far more paradoxine than you may realize. Paradoxine HDL is hiding in plain sight. It's in those bargain bin multivitamins from your grocery store. It's in your energy drinks fortified cereals, protein shakes, and B-complex formulas. Even some of the so-called neuropathy support brands are loaded with it. So while you think you're helping your nerves, what you're really doing is stacking up more of the synthetic stuff. Here's what I mean. So you take a multivitamin in the morning, a shake midday, and a nerve support capsule at night. All of these potentially contain in the wrong form of, of B6, the paradoxine HCL.
So it begins to add up and fast. Is it any wonder that your tingling is getting worse and not better? And here's where it gets even more dangerous. When paradoxine builds up, it doesn't just sit there harmlessly. It blocks the very receptor your nervous system needs. That means even if you've got normal B6 levels on your lab test, your body can't use it. It's called functional deficiency. You've got B6 in your blood, but not where it counts, your brain, your nerves, your cells. Your nervous system is starving for the active form, and all it's getting is static. So how would you even know if B6, specifically paradoxine, is making things worse? Here's where it gets a little tricky. A lot of the early warning signs of B6 toxicity look just like peripheral neuropathy, tingling, numbness, burning, fatigue. And if you already have neuropathy, it's easy to think, well, that's just my nerves flaring up. But here's what to watch out for. Symptoms that get worse after starting a multivitamin or B-complex supplement. New balance issues or gait instability that weren't there before. Maybe it's more intense nerve zaps, buzzing or burning in your hands or your feet. Sudden insomnia, mood swings or panic that seem to come out of nowhere. If that sounds familiar, here's what to do. Eliminate all sources of paradoxine HCL from your supplements and your diet. Within three to 10 days, you may notice a subtle improvement, especially with your nerve zaps, burning or mood and anxiety symptoms. Now, if you reintroduce that, that the same source of paradoxine HCL, watch closely. Symptom flares can return in as little as 24 to 72 hours. And if that happens, it's not in your head. It's your nervous system raising red flags. This is where the form of B6 matters most because when the wrong form builds up, it doesn't just fail to help you, it actively gets in the way of healing. Now that you know the truth about the two forms of B6, you're already ahead of 90% of the internet. But we're just getting started. In part two of this series, we'll take you deeper. You'll know exactly what happens when paradoxine builds up in the body and how it affects your nervous system at the cellular level and why P5P might be the game changer for your healing plan that's missing. So be sure to subscribe, like, and tap that bell so you never miss it. And if this brought you clarity or relief, drop a comment and let us know, especially if you've ever been warned around B6 but never been told why. And most importantly, share this with someone you love who's struggling with nerve pain, tingling, or fear around B6. They might still be stuck in the myth, and this could bring the truth that finally sets them free. Remember, truth is power. And when you understand the science, you can stop fearing your own healing. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. <laughs> we have a visitor. Say hello to everyone. What do you think of vitamin B6? Hmm? Billy, you have ESP. The minute we roll the camera, you come from nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. He loves being on camera. <laughs>